do you want to take such beautiful butterfly images of your own? Then this photography tutorial is for you where I share with you 10 tips on how you can get started with butterfly photography. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Sonika. Welcome to my channel which is all about photography, travel, vlogging, cameras and I put out new photography tutorials every Wednesday guys. So if you want new photography tips and tricks from me every Wednesday, please consider subscribing. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a few tips and tricks about butterfly photography. Butterflies are tiny and sensitive, but they are very fast. They keep fluttering and moving from one flower to another and don't stay still. And even if they do stay still, the moment you point your camera at them or try to go closer, they just fly away. So, it is, it is difficult to photograph butterflies, but I hope the tips I give you in this video help you in achieving that purpose. So, let's get started. Check out the different parks and gardens that have a flower garden with plants that specifically attract butterflies in your city. In Mumbai, my favorite butterfly garden is the Maharashtra Nature Park that has such a dedicated butterfly park. So, do some research into where such butterfly parks and gardens are located in your city. I find I get more butterflies uh, during the time between you know, 11 am to 1 pm when the sun is out and not many butterflies in the early morning because butterflies love the sun. And I find more butterflies during winters and the monsoon and less during summer. So as per your climatic conditions, uh, try to find out when the butterflies are more active. Uh, the best recommended equipment for butterfly photography is a DSLR and a telephoto macro lens. Now I don't have a macro lens. So I use my semi telephoto lens, 7300mm kit lens. That can also work. So if you have a zoom lens which gives you a focal length of more than 100mm, it will also work. More than 100mm because the butterfly will fly off if you get too close. I have also tried my 1855mm kit lens and it also works, but I have to crop my image a little too much. I have also used my content shoot camera, Nikon Coolpix B500 for butterfly photography. That works if my butterfly is sitting still at one place. If my butterfly is flying or fluttering, the camera may not work that well. Uh, I have also tried my mobile phone for butterfly photography. My mobile phone does not have shutter speed control. So my images were not very good, but if your camera allows that feature, you can definitely use your mobile phone camera then. Now one more piece of equipment that is recommended by many photographers is a monopod or tripod. But I personally don't like to take my tripod for butterfly photography because I feel that tripod restricts my view and my speed. It becomes heavy and by the time I set my tripod, the butterfly may fly off. So I go with my camera and zoom lens home. I set my camera to aperture priority and set my aperture to the least my kit lens allows me to this f6 uh, but if you have a faster lens I recommend you not go below f5 or else you will get a very shallow depth of field. Shutter speed has to be high for the fast moving butterflies so for slow moving butterflies like striped tiger or uh, common sailor I keep my shutter speed around 1 by 500. And for fast moving butterflies like common lion, common rose, I keep it around 1 per thousand. So I keep my eyes so such that I get such a fast shutter speed. Mostly in broad daylight, ISO 500 is enough. Exposure compensation minus 0 
because I don't want my leaves to be very highlighted. I avoid using my flash because I don't want to scare away my butterflies. Uh, spot or centered metering white balance will be auto. I set my camera to the burst mode because I want it to keep clicking as I keep my shutter release button pressed. The most important virtue that I think you need to possess for butterfly photography is patience. Now when I go for photo walks with a group of 20 to 30 people, uh, I find that the butterflies are shy and they don't show up. And if I go alone, or just with a group of two or three friends, uh, I pick a spot where the butterflies are continuously fluttering where they are hidden. I, s I wait there and after a period of time, the butterflies kind of get used to you. They kind of sense that you mean no harm. They start trusting you and they show up. They show up meaning they stay on those flowers for comparatively longer period of time so that you can photograph them. But I've seen in photo walks that people get impatient and frustrated that they're not able to get it right during the first shot. But guys, you have to wait. So even on photo walks, I wait for the crowd to disperse. When the walk is over, I stay back and wait for the butterflies to emerge. After a few minutes or hours, the butterflies get used to you and they start showing up. Butterflies love the sun, so they are automatically going to move into bright sunlight and be brightly lit. So I don't need to worry much about the lighting. Uh, but make sure that the light is falling directly on your butterfly. Uh, side lighting may give you some shadows and back lighting may give you a dark butterfly it's full of shadows. So make sure the light is falling on your butterfly and also make sure you are not casting a shadow on the butterfly or else it will fly away. Make sure the focus is on the eye of the butterfly. The wings may get a little out of focus, but that's okay as long as your eye is in focus according to me. Uh, I think the eye should be sharp with respect to any kind of animal photography. You can take other shots with the wing in focus. That's totally up to you and your composition. And don't focus directly at 300 mm, or focus at the 70 or 100 mm and then gradually increase your focal length. Avoid going closer so that you don't scare the butterfly away. If the butterflies have some mercy on you and stay still for a while, you can try out different compositions. Take wide shots and gradually increase your focal length. Take tighter frames. Try out different angles and frames. The rule of thirds works best. Divide your frame in a 3 by 3 grid. Place your butterfly along these lines or at intersecting points of these lines. Please don't take one picture and think that you've got it. Try to take as many butterfly images as you can in different angles and compositions. Also, get creative with them. Try to add some foreground element in the form of some leaves or flowers and take their pictures. But whatever you do guys, make sure you don't catch or try to touch the butterflies in any way just for a photograph. They are meant to be Photographing butterflies takes a lot of time and patience but it sure is worth it. I get to hone my photography and creation skills because of butterflies. When I bring all those butterfly images home, I feel like I bring a part of their happiness and positivity into my life. Even if my images turn out to be blurry and out of focus, I'm so happy photographing these animals and it makes my day. For photographing butterflies, patience is very important. Uh, like all of our animal friends, butterflies will not uh, stay at one place for you and wait for you. So you have to wait for the right moment. You have to be observant and keep your camera ready at all times. And if you guys like this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. 
Leave a comment down below about which videos you want to watch next on my channel. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post new videos. Here is my previous butterfly video. Please do check it out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos every Wednesday on my channel. Bye.